Okay, so in this video we're going to give you instructions on how to read the results on a multi-panel drug test. This covers a very common question that we're asked in terms of the interpretation of the test line showing uh, following tests done in the field. Now this panel is a very good example of that. If we uh, can show you the variation that you get on the test line formation between the different test parameters here. Now you can see that all these uh, windows are showing clear control lines. If I bring that a little closer to the camera it will hopefully show you much clearer. So the control line marked on this panel as a C is showing pretty uh, evenly across all the parameters. So here you've got a COC membrane for cocaine, NAMP amphetamine, THC cannabis, MTD methadone, MOP opiate and BZO for benzos. Clear control lines right the way across. But when we come to interpret this panel Results wise, you can see that we've got pretty clear test lines showing in five of the six windows. So, clear negative result for COC, clear negative result for amphetamine, same for methadone, opiates, and benzodiazepines. But when we come to look at the test line that's formed in the cannabis THC window, you'll see that the test line is both very much fainter and in some places thinner than the comparable test lines in all the other windows. Now this obviously begs the question, is this just positive or just negative? The answer to that question is that reading these test results at 10 minutes, you have to interpret this as a clear negative result for all six of these drug groups because there is a test line showing. It may be faint, it may be thin, it may not actually go right the way across the actual test window in some cases, but you must interpret that as a clear negative and not try to draw any conclusions or inference on the colour density, saturation or other way that the test line is showing. So that's a very good example of how you should interpret the test line results and not draw any inference on the density, saturation or thickness of the test lines when interpreting your results.